hi scorpios welcome back to i enigma scorpio channel this is enigma so i will be doing your general reading sun moon rising venus or mercury sun scorpio or cross watchers can openly watch this read enjoy the read and this is going to be a general message so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate if you want to get for uh, some more accuracy for private readings or white prayer based spiritual spells or prayers if you want to book that or if you want to reach out to me for high vibrational purest of the pure crystals which will be energized by me so for the same you can reach out to me always the doors are open for you always welcome okay so anybody can watch this read now let's focus on your read what's coming in your life okay so first of all legal matters some sort of an allegation is giving you some sort of an anxiety okay you may feel like oh this person's gonna put the blame on me you know you're not at fault but you're fearful that someone's gonna come and blame you for certain things so and so might give you a little bit of restlessness or some of you are restless because you feel like you haven't yet received the deser uh, deserving reward uh, or the well-deserved reward for the karma that you have done for the actions you have uh, made till now you feel like you're not getting the uh, you know response you're not getting the karma of your good deeds so you feel like you're not getting justice and this is why you're feeling a little anxious you might also go through intense uh, panic attacks is also what i see not for everybody i feel right now universe is providing you a safe corner a safe place maybe you love being at home or some of you are tired of being at home you know you're just uh, not feeling good right now okay you're not focusing on the blessings that universe has showered you with and you're focusing on the shortcomings that you might be currently facing and it's completely temporary so somewhere you have to figure out that you already are living where you're supposed to live or you already have your comfortable space you already have what universe is you always wanted you universe has given it to you then why are you focusing on something that still has time to manifest in your life okay so yeah this is what i see now some of you are looking for a new love and you cannot wait some of you are panicky about this uh, uh love life but in your life you're like when will my person come when will i have the relationship of my dreams or when will my lover love me deeply or when will i feel like home with my love so you want to renew your love or you want to find someone new coming into your life but when this is the anxiety that you might be getting some of you are finding it really difficult to move on okay you might be feeling difficult to move on from someone that ghosted you in the past and that could be acting like a blockage for new love to step in some of you are not able to forget someone or some of you are not able to forgive someone that is also why acting like a a uh, barrier between you and your person so i feel like over here you have this uh, stress of people doing this to me people doing that to me and not focusing on the blessings that you used to focus on so somewhere you're in this temporary phase where you might be focusing on all the things that you want in the future and not focusing on the things you that you have already manifested that is for your highest good and you're living in the present moment okay there you go between the lines yeah right now i feel like you're going through a transformational period and also some awakening spiritually which is why you may be feeling like your mind is in two directions or your body is you know um kind of like pushing you in two different paths and you don't know which way to go what to think what not to think this is also one of the reasons why you're feeling so anxious about things and you don't know what to think that is going to align with your desire that will make you feel at peace or make you feel at calm it's you know why because you're undergoing a transformation and you don't realize it you're going through a change within you which is making you anxious that's the real reason the change over here is that finally the one that ghosted on you or the one that hurt you that makes you still feel bad about things 
is a stalemate that's for sure and you will be able to accept that this was not the person for for me or this is not the relationship that i should be choosing or i should be wasting my energy on i feel that is the shift you are going to undergo and that is what you will be embracing the new you you will not ponder about things like why this person or that person has said this or said that you will stop engaging into obsession of overthinking because now you have understood that if this is not my soulmate or if this is my karmic i have to let it go this is not my person even if it's a friend even if it's a lover or anybody that is not doing right with you you will be able to quickly accept people the way they are which you were not having in the past the trait which you were not having in the past so you're going to imbibe that trait that's the awakening unfinished business it's not over hook up yeah i feel this person will try to come back someone from the past still wants to hook up with you so if you think that this person is coming back because they are changed like it might be for exceptional cases but for most of you for the today's read i feel you have to accept that if even there is some sort of a reconnection happening or you guys are communicating again it is not going to lead you anywhere because this is a stalemate okay so this unfinished business is finally going to close either this person will come towards you and then you will get a closure or you will put yourself in a situation where you are accepting things and closing the chapter yourself with new love okay that's what i see okay Scorpio also write down the comment section I embrace the new beginnings in my life I'm rich I am successful I have new love coming towards me desperately I'm moving on Be like a little kid enjoying each and every moment of your life Some of you are overburdening yourself with a lot of work and lot of expectations with self because you could be a perfectionist you have this tendency oh, i have to do this work i have to do it with perfection some of you are awaiting some sort of a good news at work but you're not getting it and that might be affecting your health but trust me when the time is right okay you're going to receive a beautiful proposal where you will be making a lot of money or the hike or whatever you're seeking i'm seeing you getting that first of all work on your peace of mind your health because indirectly the stress might give you a breakout the stress might give you a lot of other problems so there is a need for you to just enjoy stop being anxious so so what i see okay i'm seeing big money coming in that's for sure yeah again type 11 11 i earn big money so i feel like sudden wealth is coming in you're going to make a lot of money you will be surprised that universe is going to offer you success that you have never seen before but first work on your health first feel like your soul is in your body and that you feel like home and let go of the past and once this is all over you have new love you have big money coming in it's like a dream come true that you'll be you're going to have there you go there is a possibility of short term reconciliation with someone from the past trying to connect with you back again but the moment you pour your heart again there will be a separation so make sure that you are not giving too much of your energy trying to reconcile with someone because this person is coming back though but they are coming with red flag because the current energy seems to be negative about this person okay your heart does not match with this person's heart your vibrations are much higher you deserve someone way better write down the comment section i deserve someone uh better okay i deserve someone that is the best yeah this person is missing someone from the past is definitely missing you and is wanting to reconnect with you but this person is extremely strategic okay they will come with games okay but you make this sure to this person that you insulted me deliberately game over that's it i feel you're going to do this to this person they will be shocked when you come back on them with more strength and the capability of turning this person down in no time so they will come towards you they're building strategy against you they want to reach out to you they want to um allure you to hook up with you but i'm not seeing you taking this proposal at all because this person is deceptive as heck 
this is someone that is also after your money they could be a gold digger yes so i'm seeing now you're accepting that it's over the 13 number is karmic number so this is very clear that you're dealing with someone that is a karmic and even if they miss you they want to reach out to you it is something short term so you don't take it seriously and i feel now you will have this clarity and you will be able to release this whole you know confusion out of your system out of your body let's see what else is coming into your life look for a sign the situation will improve i feel like your life is changing you're getting a lot of repeating numbers like 11 11 which means that the past is gone now you will be embracing the new beginning a new you a new life right in front of you okay there's a complete new shift in your life and you will be shocked that you have someone to offer you so much of love that you've never ever experienced before all you have to do is stop controlling things let it happen the way it has to happen surrender let go don't have resentment don't feel bad for others keep forgiving and learning and moving on be in your feminine energy don't chase attract write down the comment section i don't chase i attract i attract i attract i attract so i feel like over here you're going to come back in a feminine energy where you will see that people are coming towards you it's not like you reaching out to people especially in your love life you're doing extra for someone you feel like people are doing towards things to me people are giving things to me people are doing if someone is uh, your lover they're doing things for you you will feel really loved from everywhere so it's because your feminine side is radiating that aura that people get it that you are the one that deserves the love respect and you will get it so i'm seeing you are going to be in your full blown feminine era right on the comment section i claim this i am a feminine uh i'm a full blown feminine <laughs> whatever you can write down so the 222 two, two, which means that you're going to be emotional for yourself not for others you will become a uh, self lover okay you will become more attractive you will start attracting more love and uh, you will just enjoy life i feel like it's also because maybe it's it's like you love rain okay or every day is going to feel like a celebration from now onwards i'm seeing i'm seeing things are changing in such a way that each and every day feels like a blessing to you it's like as if you're celebrating, raining, uh, sorry, dancing under the rain, dancing in the rain, you will feel blessed, okay? Maybe you are fond of dancing in the rain. Finally, you are reaching the point of stability. Balance is coming into your life. That something that you were seeking from within that was giving you some sort of panicky feeling, I feel that will all go because you will find yourself in such a way that you feel balanced, you feel pretty balanced okay your your life is balancing you're not being overtly spiritual you're not being overtly practical you're somewhere in between and that is one person needs to live this life you know so i'm seeing you're in balance right now some of you are dealing with a pisces i feel anyway but i can see whoever this new love is is very very balancing is your perfect match but first the universe is loudly screaming clearly screaming that love yourself first if you don't love yourself first you have nothing that will stick around in your life for a long period this is what it is saying feel like home within you and you will have new love that is going to add you add add to your happiness again balancing masculine and feminine energies you will become independent confident creative you will be believe in yourself even if the world is against you will believe in yourself and that is what will make you successful and i'm seeing deep intense healing is taking place you're becoming uh, um, emotionally secure is what i see yeah you're going through intense healing that is why you may feel certain uh weird moments at times and this healing will bring you a lot of abundance i'm seeing big money coming in i'm seeing extreme luck is coming in abundance is coming in good fortune is coming in you will be abundant with family with kids with a big house with a big car with big bank balance claim all of this in the comment section i have a big car i have a big house i have a lover of my life my dreams i have kids i have uh the money okay 
I have a billion dollar money, I have a billion dollar bank account, I have a big, you know, whatever you can think of, a big position, whatever you have been imagining yourself in. So I'm seeing you are going to head for limitless abundance. You will see yourself like your potential is way beyond uh, than what you're restricting yourself with because of the people and the environment you will go beyond that and you will start feeling like my life is not just limited to this much money or this much abundance i am i can put myself to limitless possibilities to help myself grow in all the areas of my life i'm seeing you will be traveling okay if you're feeling a little too sensitive you may need to travel a bit and I'm also seeing that you're going to build the life of your dreams. And for this, control your emotions. Right now, traveling is going to help you. And I'm seeing these messages that are helping you build strength within. Confidence within is really helping you. Right and love. Okay? Always spread positivity wherever you go. No matter how bad your day has been or whatever it is, always spread light and love. Okay? You will feel good. You should feel good. And... It's time for you to focus on your goals, travel, and heal yourself, okay? Self-love, meditation, all of these are spiritual things. Prayers, do that. Listen to the only positive messages will help you. Okay, now let's see from the tarot what's happening. Yes, again, universe is screaming out and loud that you should be loving yourself, nobody else. This is the time where you will embrace yourself completely from October onwards. You will love yourself like you've never loved yourself before. You will see your limitless capabilities of doing big things to attract abundance in your life. You will have everything you've ever wanted. You, what you think that you deserve, you're going to have more than that. I'm seeing new love coming in. I'm seeing beautiful relationships developing. I'm seeing you being in this attractive self-love feminine energy. I'm seeing you are going to spread love everywhere. You will never be jealous. You will rather spread a lot of positivity which will come back to you tenfold. So this is the um, thing that you're doing with yourself. So there's new love and I feel it won't come to you easy. Like first fake it till you make it. So act like you're in love with yourself. Feel it. Try to feel it. Act like you're feeling it. And then it will become uh, a routine. And the rest is history. So seven of wands, it will require some, you know, um, uh, trouble, some burden, okay, challenges, okay. But eventually, I'm seeing you winning. Now with the King of Pentacles, who is this King of Pentacles? Okay. Okay. Someone is too stressed out. Is thinking about you. I don't know whether this is your soulmate or not, but there is someone around you. Could be a Taurus energy. It's very anxious. They want to speak to you, but they have a lot of anxiety around that. Okay, this person is rich and successful, though. They could be Virgo or Capricorn as well. They feel like you're a big challenge. Okay, I feel they're watching you and they feel like you're something. But they're going through some deep anxiety or fear. If you, they will be reaching out to you. Let me see what other messages do I get about this person. Wow, they have a huge crush on you, but they won't say it. Who is this person? Yeah, I'm seeing them making a move finally after four months or four weeks or whatever. And this time when they make a move, they will come with some solid offer. This person is definitely coming with something big. And you might be fighting with this person. Be careful. Don't get into that uh, drama, okay? Try to understand what this person's situation is and then react. But be at peace. Be very giving and loving. But I'm seeing someone is reaching out to you with love. I can strongly sense that they will be giving you a gift or offering you commitment and you may not trust them. So be a little gentle uh, towards this person. And this is someone that wants to offer you something big, something huge, like maybe a ring. With the eight of pentacles and nine of cups, I feel this, this is the one. This is your new love, okay? And they want you, they like you, but uh, they will have to make efforts to win your heart, which will happen once you're in this completely full-blown self-love energy, which I can totally see right now. You are going to embrace that. And I wish you all the best for your higher level journey and your spiritual awakening, extreme abundance, extreme self-love and happy times and prosperous new beginning. 
so i wish you all the best scorpios and do check out the link below for an extended read don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to all my channels which is i enigma scorpio channel i enigma and i enigma hindi channel if you know hindi and the details are given down below in the description box also for the personal readings white spells or premium charge crystals follow my instagram at enigma.in bye bye like share comment and subscribe